I have had a unique invitation today. I am at Bailey Nurseries Expo and I'm with Natalia Hamill and she is the brand manager for Bailey's and really we are so lucky here in Oregon because you have two sites here that you grow and where are those? We do. We have one here in Yamhill which is where we are today and then we also have a facility on Savi Island. So that means they are doing testing on their plants that you see in your independent garden center right here in Oregon so you can really see that they're going to perform well for us. That's right. And so you're going to talk about some brands, some plants that are available now and then some are going to be available next year. So what do you have for us? That's right. Well, part of my role as brand manager is to bring new plants into the marketplace, but we want to be very, very careful in terms of the, we call them genetics, that we're sure. bringing into the marketplace so that consumers can be really successful with them. Ah, and you know, the crepe myrtles have been beautiful this summer, and you have some new ones for us. We do. You've had a good hot summer here, so I know you've had a lot of crepe uh, crepes blooming in the landscape. And this is part of a series that we call the Magic Series of Crepe Myrtles. And um, they're unique in several different ways. For the most part, they are what we call semi-compact crepe myrtles. So they will grow anywhere from 6 to 10 feet tall, nice. depending on the variety. So they're smaller crepe myrtles than what you typically see. And all of them, except one, is a nice shrub form. So it's bushy and shrubby. They bloom very, very heavily. They're disease and insect resistant. Perfect. So some of the other crepes oftentimes will get a leaf spot or powdery mildew or some things that don't make, they don't look so nice later in the season. And these magics are disease resistant. The crepes, um, I like them in the landscape, so in the garden, in the ground, but I also like them very much in a patio Ooh, container. and that'll be nice for a lot of people that don't have a garden anymore, but they have a patio, so these right. will be perfect. Right, exactly. And these will be available next year, so we have to call next year our independent garden center. That's right. And so, but this Hypericum is available this year. This is available this year. Um, this particular one is called Red Flame, so it's got that nice glossy berry, and there's several other colors. There's a brown one, and there's a white and a green and all. But again, a good plant for the garden, uh, maybe even a better pot, a, a better plant for a patio oh, pot. Nice. And you could mix something, uh, you know, something else, something cascading to sure. go with it. Oh, and great fall color um, that it just goes with everything that's fall. I mean, pumpkins mm -hmm. and all that kind of, you know, if you put it in a pot, you can have your pumpkins, you have hay bale, and it's right. really your front door is ready right. to go for right. fall. And it's, you know, it's a really nice alternative or addition maybe to moms, because a lot oh, of people sure. use the fall moms. Beautiful. Um, but this would be something that would be a little bit different. Mm -hmm. And hydrangeas. I think Bailey is known for hydrangeas. They are the ones that came out with the endless summer, which really it turned everybody back onto hydrangeas. If they had forgotten about them, you brought that back to the forefront. That's right. Um, Endless Summer, um, we've got four different hydrangeas in the Endless Summer brand and the blue one here that has the nice big fluffy uh, flower heads on it is called the Original. Um, that's one that you will see, at, it's the, the hydrangea macrophyllas are the ones that go from blue to pink right. depending on the acidity of the soil. Mm -hmm. So some gardeners will have them in their gardens as pink plants and others will have them as blue. The one we see here is blue because the soil is acidic. Um, and it's called a mop head type hydrangea, so big fluffy balls of flowers They're and gorgeous. wonderful cut flowers and it bloom, they re-bloom as well. And now I think you have another one that's going to be tantalizing yeah. for us. Yeah. <laughs> we are really excited about this one. Um, this one is called Bloom Struck and uh, it's, it's got more of a purple flower to it. It too though can be a really, really deep uh, kind of a red pink or this very nice purple. Beautiful. Good strong stems, earlier in the season the stems are red, so it's very distinctive that way. Um, big, tough, the, the foliage on it is tough. It's glossy and it's tough and it tends to be more heat resistant, so it doesn't wilt down the way some of the others do on, the, on those really hot summer days. And um, as we say, it's a very potent rebloomer. So you can see we've got the big, big flower heads here, but then we've got lots of new flower heads coming. So it's going to bloom for many, many more weeks. Wow. Well, we can um, have you go over to Garden Time website. We'll click you over to Bailey's and you can get more information there or call your independent garden centers and see if they have these beautiful plants for you. Thanks so much for all the information. Thank you, Judy.